Some say war never changes. Wartime has certainly always been obfuscated and chaotic enough to produce a large number of tales and legends, whether localized or internationally known. While the war in Ukraine is in full swing, the birth of what may be the latest urban legend took place just last week. The Ghost of Kiev. And while in past wars, there have been reports of ghostly ground troops taking up arms and defending their final resting place, or a supernatural intervention, such as the Angels of Mons reports during World War I, this legend of Ukraine takes to the skies. The Ghost of Kiev is the nickname given to an unconfirmed Mikoyan MG-29 twin-engine fighter aircraft pilot that's been credited with shooting down six Russian planes in the Kyiv offensive on February 24th, just one week ago. According to the Security Service of Ukraine, this mysterious figure has shot on at least 10 Russian jets as of the recording of this video. But the craziest part is no one has any clue who they are. This level of aerial expertise would plant the Ghost of Kiev firmly in a category alongside other flying aces. A flying ace is a title reserved for military aviators that are credited with shooting down five or more enemy aircraft in aerial combat and is considered incredibly impressive. Not only did the Ghost of Kiev obtain flying ace status, they achieved it in a single day. The term and concept of being a flying ace originated in 1915, during World War I. Originally, it was coined to provide the home front with a cult hero of sorts that would boost morale in what was otherwise a war of attrition. The individual actions of flying aces were widely reported, and their public image was romanticized to engage the public at large. Since its inception, the prestigious title has been awarded in limited capacity. While there are varying reports, some news outlets are claiming that the Ghost of Kiev is the first ace fighter pilot since World War II. And despite the uncertainty behind the exact individual who was wreaking havoc in the Ukrainian skies, the legend has snowballed very quickly, receiving immense amounts of local and international attention. The unnamed war hero has become almost symbolic of Ukraine's well-trained and unwavering military, defending their homeland in a war that was thrust upon them. The fact that the Ghost of Kiev's identity is undisclosed adds a different layer of impact than if it was a fully accredited individual. This story has boosted the morale of Ukrainians at large, while surely striking fear into opposing invaders that enter the Ghost's aerial domain. With this war being the most recent in our modern times, it's in turn the most heavily publicized and recorded due to average citizens having the ability to record clear videos of everything taking place. The social media frenzy surrounding the Ghost of Kiev has been backed up with several videos of Ukrainian jets taking down Russian aircraft filmed from the streets below by ordinary citizens. Many are skeptical that the entity responsible for destroying so many Russian aircraft is a singular person especially without proper accreditation to a specific individual. It's easy to think that the aerial achievement could be a collaborative effort among several pilots. But at this point, the narrative has already taken a form of its own. Whether the Ghost of Kiev is an insanely skilled, unknown war hero or a collective group of skilled pilots, the end result remains the same. The entire story has become an echoing of Ukraine's successful defense against the Russian invasion, and a sorely needed light in the darkness of war for many of its citizens. While some more skeptical minds may deem this entire legend to be propaganda, independent news outlets have deemed that unlikely. 
several ordinary social media users began perpetuating the story on their own accord. And the Ukrainian government has had a little to no involvement or interaction with the Ghost of Kyiv claims. Alongside the Ghost of Kyiv, stories have been popping up in the last 24 hours about a mysterious Ukrainian Reaper. An individual soldier who has over 20 confirmed sniper kills in the short span of recent combat. The Ukrainian Reaper seems to have a more concrete foundation, with Volodymyr Vist being the name of the soldier accredited with the title. Just as the Ghost of Kyiv had blown up on social media overnight, the same pattern is happening currently with this mysterious Reaper. Many are comparing him to the very real Finnish military sniper during World War II known as the White Death, Simo Haiha. The person behind the moniker served in the 1939-1940 Winter War against the Soviet Union. He is believed to have killed over 500 men in his relatively short service period. That places him as the individual with the highest number of confirmed sniper kills in any major war. He was severely wounded on March 6th of 1940 after an explosive bullet hit his lower left jaw. After the battle, he appeared to be dead and was placed on a pile of dead bodies. A fellow soldier noticed that his leg was twitching among the pile and he was evacuated despite being in a very rough state. He remained unconscious for an entire week, but miraculously recovered. When he woke, he was able to read about his own death in a local newspaper, upon which he sent in a letter to correct the misunderstanding. He went on to live until 2002, where he died at the age of 96. Shortly after his legendary enlistment, he wrote a personal memoir that didn't surface until 2017. In his memoir, he reconfirms the estimates that he had over 500 kills. While some firmly believe in the Ukrainian Reaper's existence and accomplishments, others are categorizing both the Ghost of Kyiv and the Reaper as wartime legends or optimistic fiction. We may not know the full truth until the dust settles. We may never know the full truth at all. But whatever the reality may be, the word of mouth generated from these wartime legends is having a very real impact on both outside perception and internal morale with the Russian-Ukraine war. And this is one that I would really love to get your opinion on. Do you think either the Ghost of Kiev or the Ukrainian Reaper are rooted in truth, or are they simply wartime exaggerations? Do legends like these that echo internationally give pause to invading forces who may think twice about the military prowess of the country they're invading? How impactful can legends truly be? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've made it this far, thank you once again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and make sure to stay tuned for next week's mystery.